the SNAP benefits are going to be ending today and at a time when food prices are up 10 percent. And you think about the Supreme Court hearing today on uh, student loans. A lot of these COVID era programs are coming to an end over the next couple of months. Do you think there can be a soft landing at a time when inflation is so high? Let's get real about the struggles that many families face in America, whether it's paying off a student loan or putting bread on the table. For many of us, it's not, we don't give it a second thought. For others, it really controls their lives. I think there needs to be a soft landing. We've learned a lot from these COVID relief uh, programs. Uh, a lot needs to be incorporated on ongoing help. We know that there's still needs out there and we need to provide those that help to those vulnerable people. We should not be engaging in a soft landing. There should be no landing. We need to continue the SNAP benefits at a time when American families are struggling. What more viciously unfair, unwise time to end SNAP benefits than when food prices are rising and the American people are struggling, especially our most vulnerable and our children. So what I want to see is those SNAP benefits extended. The pandemic and inflation drove some of these cost increases, but let there be no doubt that the largest driver was a decision by the leadership of the Food, Nutrition, and Consumer Services Mission Area to abandon 40 years of precedent and increase SNAP benefits by 21% to record high levels, levels that are unsustainable.